Hello and welcome to another Goda Trading Language tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make random number in shader in Godot. And believe me, if you want to learn shader in Godot, you need a lot of this function. So, how to make a random number? So, we need two functions. One is the fract function and one is the sign function. Fract function is going to return the fractional part of a number. You can see it right here. And this is the sign function. So imagine that we have this sign function and the value of the sign function is going to change between minus one and one. So if I multiply this sign function by two, okay, now the value of the sign function is going to change between minus two and two, okay? If I multiply the x, all right, it's going to, make it like squeeze that it's going to squeeze the sine function so if we return the fractional part of this sine function what's going to happen this is going to happen okay if we are going to return the fractional part and now imagine that we uh, multiply this sine function by a greater number what's going to happen this is going to happen and as we increase this number it is going to give us a random number. So, the shape of that is like this. It's like this. It's going to give us the random number. So, up to now, we insert a number in that function that we had created, okay? And that function give us a random number. So, inserted one number and it give us a random number. But what if we want to create a random number for each point on our screen? We know that each point on our screen has two value, two number, okay? But he, we here insert one number. So what we are going to do for solving this problem is we are going to uh, multiply each component of our vector 2, our position of uv, x and y, by a random number, completely random number, and and then um, add them to together. All right, so let's see how to do it in code. So I already write a noise function here, okay? And this noise function return a value of float, and this, uh, this value is going to be between the zero and one, okay? And what, what I'm going to do is going to return here, okay, the fractional part, the fractional part okay of the sign so here I insert a vector 2 so uh, I want to do a dot product same as we saw before dot of our input and uh, and a random vector 2 so I'm going to put for example 12 and Okay, uh, that is the dot. Okay, that is the product. I also multiply that dot product for uh, with uh, another random number, for example, twenty-three. I don't know. Yeah, and then multiply the sine function with a big number. So, so I will put, for example, uh, one thousand and fifty-four. And okay. And, and simple as that and that is our random function so here I create a random I call it random variable and it is float and then I going to put noise UV and I put our UV in that so set, let's try it color color is equal to vector or vector Three, our random number, random number, and it's going to be one here. So as you can see, it gives, it's going to give us a random number, but it's not completely random, and you can see a pattern. But if you increase this number, for example, I will put five here. You can see now it's completely random. And that's it for this tutorial. See you next time.